What up, what up, what up? I'm Breakable Kick. So, Arma, today's been a dry day as far as sneakers. We didn't really have anything dropping today. And it's been weird because most of the releases now have been during the week. Like this upcoming Tuesday, we got the Air Jordan 9 Particle Grades dropping. Now, I'm not hearing of a lot of stores actually having a lot of their shipments in. So, I feel like these are going to be another one of those sneakers where some spots are going to have them on release day, and then some spots are gonna drop them once they get their shipment in. Now the Air Jordan 9 Particle Grays, they do have a little bit of demand behind them. The size 11 lowest ask is like 275, and, and this is only a few days away from release, so if y'all wanna make sure y'all entered in all of the raffles y'all doing, I'm not 100% sure if FLX has them on their calendar either. Like, generally what FLX have been doing is they'll send like a notification you know, inform you to go ahead. Yeah, they do. They got the grade school is in store only. So FLX is only dropping the grade school in the Air Jordan 9s. And also by looking on FLX, I see that they dropping those Air Jordan 8 taxis, the women's exclusive joints. Now, I don't even see those on sneakers out for upcoming releases, which is weird because, you know, they showed us these in advance, so I was thinking that they had everything going okay with their release, so it looking like the Air Jordan 8 taxis are going to get pushed back on the sneakers app as well. So, Arm, just keep an eye on any news regarding those two sneakers if you want to cop them. Arm has heard me talk about Trade Block for a very long time, but as of recent, I just got another sneaker that I've been looking to get, and I didn't have to pay resale for them. The sneaker I'm talking about is these joints right here, the Air Jordan 2 Unions. Now, label reads Air Jordan 2 Retro SP, colorway is Gray Fog, Siren Red. So I got the Gray Fog pair, and actually when I went to SneakerCon in LA last month, I actually said that I like the Thieves better than the Rattan, and I thought that I was going to like the Rattans better. And the trade that I did for these, I felt like it was a fair trade. Traded a size 8.5 and, and the Travis Air Max Trainers, the Wheat Colorway, and a Yeezy Slide Pure. Plus, I added on 45 bucks, and I wound up getting the Union 2 Great Falls in the size 11. And I wound up getting a size 11 and the Rebellion there. So, I felt like it was an even trade. As far as that, now, now all I would need is the rattan colorway. Now, Army, I don't know if y'all caught yesterday. I think it was in clothing. They wind up dropping the Air Jordan 2 Maison Chateau Rouge. They want to say they dropped them early. And on top of that, they had a discount for 10% off. I've seen a couple people getting those for like $207 ship. Now, the prices are slowly going down on them. And I actually want, like, those to me, I said it was one of the best collab retro tools that is dropping this year so i'm definitely trying to get them joints hopefully they're an easy target come release day i don't think so because i feel like that's one of the more popular air jordan 2 collabs i'm gonna keep an eye out on them joints too if i hear anything and lastly army i want to show you guys a pair of sneakers that i sold i want to say maybe seven or eight years ago and the only reason why i sold that shoe is because it had a little cut on the new buck on the toe and I'm just a stickler when it comes to my sneakers like that. And it feels so good to get these back in the vault, especially since I got some of the other Air Jordans that came out around the time of this particular sneaker. All right, so before I show you all these, I got to give a huge shout out to my brother, Sneaker Sluts, man, the owner of Soul Steals, for lobbing me these, man. You know your boy love his Air Jordan 7, so label on these read, Air Jordan 7 Retro. Colorway is black, cambry light, graphite. This is a size 11 and a half. Joint comes with the Air Jordan car. This is how you know, bro. This is this is that era. This is that time right here, man. Joints even got the receipt as well, man. Shout out to my boy Sneaker Sluts. If y'all ain't got y'all Soul Steel membership, man, y'all sleeping under the sun right now, yo. Right, let's talk about this receipt right quick. The receipt says, date. March 3rd, 2006. This is Greggio Shoes, 23 Bayfair Mall, San Leandro, California. And my man's paid 200 bucks for these joints, yo. 200 bucks. <laughs> Retail was 200 bucks back then, yo. My man still had to pay that extra to get these joints back in the day. But yeah, Army, that's dope, man, that these joints still got the original receipt from what? 16 years ago 
That's crazy, man. The Mount Army. Now, what's so dope is, again, this is the same time period that the Air Jordan 7 Citrus came out. And I haven't had these in my collection since I moved from college. Since I moved from college, man. So to be able to add these joints, still desk stock, man. Like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, most shoes don't really get your boy excited like this anymore, man. Because I, I just feel like it's certain shoes that Jordan Brand need to retro, that they haven't retro. We getting this, we getting this. We want military blues, but we getting military blacks. Like, it's still so many shoes that's in the vault that they can go ahead and drop that haven't been dropped in 10 plus years. Air Jordan 9 Flint's. Air Jordan 5, Black and UNC. Air Jordan 14, Black and UNC. Like, the list go on. The Air Jordan 5, Wolf Graves. Like, we still got a lot of bangers, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, I feel like this is a versus battle. The older retros versus the new stuff that they try to put out here. I mean, we get in the Air Jordan 1 Chicago's and the Bread Fours, like the OG stuff. But, again, there's some other heat that Jordan brand can give us. And I don't know why they ain't pulling it out the vote. But again, Army, like, a lot of people don't like Air Jordan 7s. You really have to love the silhouette to really, like, respect some of these older colorways that we probably will never get again. And if these were to drop, I feel like these would get the same treatment as the Air Jordan 7 flints when those dropped. Like, you had the people who wanted them and loved them from back in the day that, you know, was hyped to get them. And then you just have people who don't really care about them. So, again, Army, this is a phenomenal pickup. Phenomenal pickup, another one that I'm glad to add back to the vault army. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about these pickups that I showed you guys. The Air Jordan 2, Union Falls. Again, I still need to retain. Y'all got any good trades y'all want to offer me, shoot the offers over. I will be adding some more things to my closet. And I will be deleting some of the stuff. Because I got some stuff that's already been sold through like whatnot on there. And um, I didn't delete it. So I'm about to update the entire closet. Again, hit me up on there. Propose some good trades. I accept the good ones, y'all. I do, man. Some of them joints be trash, but <laughs> I just let the time go out on them, man. But Army, look, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And none of that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army says strong, like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones and, of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. Yo, it's old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.